Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video we're going to be doing a product unboxing of Glow in the Dark Alphabets. So let's get started. Here it is, the Night Glowing Radium Alphabets. Decorate rooms as well as educate in one go. This light in dark sticker is ideal for applying on doors, lamps, household articles, bedroom ceilings and any smooth clean surface. It absorbs light and glows in darkness. This is made up of high quality PVC, vinyl, non-toxic, eco-friendly, waterproof and durable material. So this is what it looks like under normal lights. How do you spell fun? With these glow-in-the-dark letters, of course. Now each glow-in-the-dark letter is rechargeable and acts like a reusable glow stick. With zero batteries, bulbs or liquids, the glow-in-the-dark letters can be charged time and time again. Simply exposed to any light source, the longer the brighter, including the sun, lamp, overhead lights, flashlights, UV lights, etc. And the glow-in-the-dark letters will provide hours of low-light illumination. Once the glow-in-the-dark letters begin to lose their shine, simply give them a quick boost from any light source, and they will be good to glow for hours. Combine this with black lights for an all-night glow-a-thon. Oof, the fun never ends here. You can see these are so bright, fun glowing alphabet letter pieces. You can collect these alphabet sets. Why? To create a large assortment of words and fun messages that you can stick on the wall. Not only good for fun, but educational as well. Everyone will love it. These pieces glow very brightly for 20 to 30 minutes once the lights go out. They will also glow continuously under black light. A non-toxic adhesive is included so you can start decorating right away. If you don't want to stick these alphabets, there are other fun ways to play with them. Let me show you. Again, just take a normal piece of paper and with a marker, just put in all the alphabets randomly. So this is a very simple activity of letter matching and recognition. And then using the glow-in-the-dark alphabets, just have a fun activity. So simple. G, W, I saw an I here, I saw a Q here, a B, oops, that's upside down. So it's a very unique approach. It just helps build on knowledge of the alphabet and it is very challenging as you are identifying each letter independently and not in the usual sequence of the ABC Why? song. Yay! <laughs> Done! Adapt this activity under black light and there's a new challenge ahead. And then with highlighters, just put in all the alphabets in random places. And then you can use the glow in the dark alphabets for a fun activity. Just match the letters. Where does this go? This is the letter O. It goes here. Where's E? Where's B? Where is the letter C? Who doesn't love things that glow in the dark? And this fun activity has an exciting literacy element to it. Okay, so I have a clear lock handy plastic storage box with a lock. It is very stylish, very practical and useful because this is the large one 10 liters capacity you can get the smaller one as well make sure it has these locks so you can always put away the sensory play and then use it for later it just makes life a lot easier it's transparent it's stackable if you get if you choose to make a lot of sensory boxes so now in this you fill it with whatever abundant thing you have. I have rice. So the alphabets, just put in the alphabets. Now you can do the sensory play. I'm going to show you with the lights on and then we can also do a glow-in-the-dark version of it, which is going to be so much fun. So you can just do simple alphabets. Find the letter C. Go in with the tweezers. Then look around. Ew, what's that? That looks like the letter C. And then let's do the glow in the dark version of this. Why the tweezers? To help build fine motor skills, 
Use the tweezers to sift through the rice and locate each letter. It's a good way to pace the speed at which each letter is discovered. If you use your hands, you would more likely uncover multiple letters, which could be quite distracting and take away from the learning purpose. Okay, we are done with our sensory play. It's always advisable to have containers with locks and with a lid, so you can always store it properly and have it ready for the next time. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post, leave a constructive comment, and share this video. I know, I know, it's a lot to do, but I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Bye. Jazakallah khair, thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.